All right, good morning all. Game day is upon us. So the boys are back in action. I've been waiting to say that all summer. The boys are back in action and they will be taking on the Rangers in Buffalo. And I'm sure Rome will be excited about that. And we'll see how we open the season, guys. We'll see how we open the season. Hey, look, I, you know, it, it seems just like yesterday the season closed. This is how I tell you guys that the months and the years tick by fast. Before you know it, we're a Stanley Cup threat. Before you know it, could it be this year? I don't know, guys. Here we are. New season, new hopes, new dreams. Um, new players. You know, we'll get a look at what the youth looks like this year. A little more mature. Team's going to be a little... More mature, still going to be the youngest team in hockey, I believe. I'm not, don't quote me yet, but I'm sure about that. I'm sure they're still going to be the youngest team in hockey. And I am pumped for this year, guys. I'm feeling good about this year. We're due for something good to happen. We're due for it going into this year. Now, I I've talked about <laughs> the step backwards scenario. Yes, that could happen this year. That could happen, and that is part of growing pains. But I believe this team is on the playoff bubble as we speak right now. Well, they were last year. They were last year. But I believe going in from day one, there's a lot of channels. There's a lot of uh, big shots out there that, that follow the game like Friedman and so on. And these guys, the majority of them are picking the Sabres to get in this year. So it will be a letdown if we don't get in this year, right? But I'll tell you what, today's game right now is the most important game of the year is the way I'm approaching it. That's how I'm going to approach every single game like I usually do. And yeah, if we hit a rut, we hit a losing streak, guys, we'll hope the kids find their way out of it this year. But I'm expecting, I guess, what would the word be? A surprisingly good start is what I'm hoping for. I would love nothing more than to see the Sabres start something like 12 12, five and three, something like that. Just a really good, strong start would be nice as we, uh, you know, because, and then we'd have to still worry because we know we have that 12 year thing hanging over our head, right? So that's the cloud that's hanging over our heads till we get in and lock it up. So I'll tell you my goal before the season starts. My goal this year is first place. That's my goal. I'm not thinking any lower than first. I'm just not. No, I, I picked them to finish first this year. I'm expecting first place. I know everybody's got Toronto pegged in. Don't feel it with Toronto for some reason, guys. I'm just not feeling it. I'm just not. You know, I'm, I'm more worried about Boston than Toronto when it comes to first. I know Toronto's a good regular season team. The truth is they're due for a bad season over there. Things can go wrong, injuries. Things can happen. Uh, in hockey, as we know. I just think that Toronto's had such a window of opportunity slip by them over all these years. It just can't keep happening. I think the Habs are going to be down in the bottom. I think Ottawa can surprise. I think Detroit's way overrated by their fans. I don't think they're going to be very much of a threat. They could be, but I don't think so. They got too many bad signings in Detroit. Too many bad contracts that I don't like. Myself, you know, sure, uh, you know, there, there's just guys, I don't even want to start naming them out. There's just guys that we know we wouldn't want on the Sabres on that team. Ottawa could be a uh, problem, they've, they've, uh, but they're, they're going to feel it more next year, Ottawa, because they're going to be really uh, cap crunched next year. You watch Ottawa ne next year is going to be in a mess financially. If you go check uh, Cap Friendly, check it out. And then uh, Tampa Bay. I don't know, folks, and not because of Vasilevsky. I'm just not feeling it with Tampa Bay. I think they've had their time. I think they're older. The core's getting older. And um, they, yeah, could they still have a good run in them? Yeah, but I, I just don't think so. They lost to Toronto in the first round. What more proof do we need, really? And then, um, you know, I, I, I'm worried about Boston going into the season, guys. So that's, that's just a, a quick take on the division. That I'm, um, you know, I'm Florida. I don't want to forget Florida, but Florida's, uh, I, I just don't know Florida, really. I, I don't know what to think of Florida. I think they could be good this year, but uh, I, I've got us, uh, I think the Sabres are going to be a special team this year. I hope so, because it would be nothing more fun than having you guys happy for a year 
and not frustrated. You know, because I know you've been a frustrated fan base since I started this channel. And uh, I've been a frustrated fan like you, you know. So I have new hopes this year, guys. I really do. I'm feeling good about it. I'm feeling really right about it. And I think that uh, my goal, my goal in a nutshell this year, seven playoff wins. I don't care where we finish, to be honest. I think we can finish first. But if we just get in the playoffs and we win seven playoff games, success for the season for me. That's success. I don't want to finish first and choke up in the first round or something. That would be a disaster for us. We don't want that. So it might be better to go under the radar, finish like third, start on the road. We'll see, you know, this year, guys. And this is the two things we have to straighten out. I'll tell you right now, our penalty kill and our home record this year. If we can straighten those two things out, I think the rest will take care of itself. I don't think we'll be as good on the road this year like last year. No, I just don't see that happening. We'll, be, we'll probably lose a few more games on the road this year. We're not going to catch everybody off guard this year on their home ice, no. But we should be a lot better at home, I figure. So it kind of balances itself out. I'm going to say... Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, oh... I don't know how many points I want to say. I'm going to say 107 points, guys. Yeah, I'm going to say 107 point season is what I'm hoping for. 25 games over. 30 might be tough. But uh, 25, I think we could do it. And um, we'll see. Sorry, right, guys. I'll see you in the post game. I've yacked enough. I hope you guys are pumped and ready to go. Let's go, Buffalo. Let's, let's take it to the division this year. Lord knows we've waited. I hope this is our time now, starting today. See you in the post game.